Hello guys, and welcome to episode 27 of my Vashula campaign in Steel Division 2, playing on the Axis side. Previously, uh, we made some great attacks on the left flank once again. We're slowly crushing these forces, which will open a huge gap between, behind the center line, which we'll definitely take advantage of. But I'm not sure there's much else left to do this turn. I could attack the 103rd Motorized Rifle Battalion with the 2nd Battalion of the AB Panzer Regiment Hermann Goering, but it's a bit unnecessary. They are bombarded. They're not going to be able to do anything. So, yeah, I think we'll be okay. There's nothing to do on the left side. This is all well defended, although we kind of broke our defenses and started charging forwards. Uh, all of these seem okay. In the middle, we're all just dug in. I do need to dig in these guys. Let's do that. Make sure they are all dug in. Uh, these ones are fine. Uh, this one can probably move forwards a little bit. I don't think he's really too helpful in that position. Might be better just getting him onto a road. At least moving forwards a little bit. Okay. On the right hand side we're okay. Quite a few places we can potentially get attacked this turn. I may as well bombard stuff. I'm going to bombard these tanks if I can. It doesn't look like we can. Oh, we'll just bombard the front line then. Just bombard all of the units that could potentially attack and then we don't have to worry about being attacked. There we go. Uh, this is another unit we can use. We can hit the self propelled artillery group there. Just trying to get rid of as many units as possible that can initiate an attack before we move on to the next turn. Uh, do I have any more artillery that can be used? No. So right side's absolutely fine, just leaving them all where they are. Uh, the middle's now been done, so that's all good. Artillery's all used up across here. Fantastic, because we never really want to attack in the middle at any point. I'm actually just going to use all of these forces to break through here, and then we'll just go down this road and surround all of these forces. We'll probably come down here and then meet up here, and just all of those will be surrounded. That'll be victory. Pretty much. <laughs> I might have to like do some skipping through the turns, but we have the Warsaw Uprising occurring. Okay. Well, there it is. Okay, and we're under attack over here. The 3rd Battalion of the 9th SS Panzergrave Regiment. They're going to get hit pretty hard. Not sure what's going to come in. Could be quite a lot of stuff, honestly. There's a big build-up on this right-hand side. We'll definitely bring in the Regiment Group 1075. Other than that, I think I need to keep these for this defense up top. And I probably need to keep the Stokes for helping the Regiment Group 1074. So I think we'll probably bring in aircraft. I don't know what aircraft we have left to use this turn. We've got the bombers and we got the fighters. What would be better to use? There is potential for some quite heavy armor. Hmm. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I mean, the fighters will probably be okay. Let's use the fighters. We can always just stray farmer if we need to. And we'll jump on in. Like, I can just stray farmer until it falls back. And then maybe sneak up on it with Panzer Shreks or something. I don't know. But this is a breakthrough defense. We don't have any fortifications, though. Which sucks. I do have some pack 40s if I need them, but probably won't need them early on. What actually joined? Let's have a look. So 70th Guards Air Assault Regiment, the 147th and the LWP Mixed Air Regiment. So that's two air regiments. Okay. So I guess the ME 109s have got their work cut out. Right. Let's get some troops down. I have to do MGs. I 
definitely spread these out. I do also want to spread out some AT guns. But the main thing I think that's important for these machine guns is having a leader. Because then we sort of reduce the damage that they take from bombs and so on. So make sure the Valkyrie are with these. And then I'll make sure to maybe bring in a second one there, for example. Uh, we can have some Valka in these trees. Pretty good position for them, actually. Put some Valka on this left side. Okay. I uh, might have a couple MGs on this side. We can put the Panzergenfjörder with those. Okay, cool. Let's add some Panzergrens over here. Could use some more MGs actually in the middle if I have any more. I don't think we do. Our AT guns from the start would be great, but whether or not I want to, I'm not so sure because they might just get rocketed and RT'd like straight away. But then again, would it be worth the, the transport snipes? Maybe. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. We're going to have have an IG back here. That's fine. I might put an IG or two up here. And I'm going to give them the Commandant. Okay, that should provide com uh, Commander for an entire middle section. But a Commandant with the Falke. I think I'll just put IG further back. Might put an IG on the ridge. I guess if I just have like a number of... Yeah, we'll put an IG on the right as well. Not sure exactly where though. Maybe we just put it like far right. If we have a bunch of fighters from the start, I think we can probably just control the sky. So we'll bring in as many as I can. That's five. And uh, I'll bring in some Shabu Throp as well. That's pretty a good shout. We have some recon in the center. Okay. Honestly, I could have some of these strafe at the start. Keep that flying about. Oh, they've got a newbie. I will have to have my IG there fall back. No way I can keep that in the air. Cool. Well, so far, so good. Looks like this is going to turn into just a dogfight in the skies. Buying in more ME 109s, I think. Take them down. Oh, one of my ME 109s went down. It's a shame. Very difficult to uh, micro all of these planes sometimes. Usually they're okay, they kind of babysit themselves, but if a yak comes out of spawn at the right time, you can get caught out. And if it goes for the right target. Sometimes they come out of spawn, yes, but they go for the wrong target and it's fine. They're really going for these IGs though, so probably want to back them off at some point. Every tick, they're just bringing in more and more. Oh, 
on the IL-2 then, and he shot down my ME-109. Nice. It's good. I think as long as I bring in like at least two at a time, we should be okay. This one's getting pretty low on ammunition. Like every minute they bring in like three more aircraft. We're not really seeing too much on the ground right now. I'm just hoping that I can kill most of the Yak 9s. I'm not sure how many they have. They might just have loads of them. Answering my MG or the IG, one of the two. I'm going to get my rocket ME109s in next. Or try and take out some of these mortars. I could in fact go strafe a couple of them. Especially the ones that I can constantly see. I uh, could bring in also like an Avclutter or something over here. So that we have eyes on those sorts of things. Blimey. Okay. It's fine. MG34 got killed by the bombers. Uh, that's not very good. I thought these were rocket ME109s, but apparently not. I'm going to move this over. We'll move this over to the left. So they aren't hitting our targets every time. Amy 109's got an oil leak, so that can go. Got sure, some water taken care of. Oh no, that one's in a really bad spot. No! Ah, that's sad. <laughs> so awesome though. Watching these um, dogfights. See if we can just get out of there. They only just brought those in, so hopefully they won't have any more. I am going to want to bring in some Panzergrens to hold this flag so we can maintain a total victory. Uh, this was the MG that got bombed on the left hand side. Gonna have to expect some losses. I could potentially push forwards a little bit here. If I can get some eyes onto those mortars. Because then we can strafe them while we're trying to hold. Uh, I'll leave that commandant where it is. Probably pretty important that it's there. Because it's holding the command on the entire left side. Uh, this MG definitely going to want to fall back. I think I'll bring it back to the church. Oh, look at all of these craters where the planes are being shot down. We've lost, what, two ME1, ME109s? It's not too bad. Not too bad at all, really. Uh, can they see these? I don't know if that should move or not. Okay. Gonna bring another wing of ME109s out. Uh, my Valkyrie. I think it's taking the damage that the MG-42 would. 
Okay, good. Taking that down. Okay, good. Should be able to get away from this yak. I'm just a bit worried that something's going to come in behind us. Might keep these ones just floating about. Alright, these are the rocket ones. We'll make sure to use those. There's another one. Uh, I think I'm going to lose a yak there, or not yak, or ME109, to the yak. That <sighs> sucks. I manually flying that one so it turns in properly. I really didn't actually need to tell that to leave, but it's okay. Another yak down. Yeah, these ME109s really, really, really have their work cut out for them. Kind of crazy. Oh, these are yak threes now. That's not good. <laughs> oh dear, these yak threes are actually way better. <laughs> And the wing comes in to protect. It's good. It's all of my aircraft purchased now. I'm gonna have to bring them in in waves so that I always have them in the sky. We need to make sure that I'm identifying targets for these rockets. They're not using as many mortars as I thought they would. It is very cool to see these aircraft flying about. I always remember like how rigid the Steel Division Normandy 44 aircraft looked. And like the improvement that they made in Steel Division 2 was incredible. And they've only like continued to improve it. They they broke it for a bit, but <laughs> they they they've only improved it since and now it just looks awesome. Like all the fighters using different elevations and all that sort of stuff. It's very, very cool. Right, this can fall back. It didn't use this rocket, so it'll probably reload quickly anyway. Two minutes, twenty eight seconds left. I guess I could maybe strafe this supply truck. Uh, I just got out of line of sight. It's a shame. Oh, I think we still killed it though. I think the explosion also affected my M109, so I'm just going to get that out of there just in case it's a bit too damaged. Bring in another wave of M109s. Must have shot down most of the yaks then. I mean, this ME109 unit has fought some serious air battles this campaign. I think it's already missing a wing. The casual recon plane. Yep, that came out of nowhere and got wrecked. My MG42 got killed by that artillery eventually. 
should have moved it back once it started to get RT'd. If you reposition the stuff that starts to get RT'd, generally they don't keep RT'ing the same unit. That can help you keep them alive. Got a bit lazy there, I guess. I was too busy watching all these aircraft flying around. It looks really cool. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get that rocket strike off, but we'll give it a go. Yeah, again, the explosion from the supply truck affected the aircraft there, so we'll get that out of it. Goodbye, IL-2. Okay, total victory. 13 minutes, 30 seconds. 121 kills to 14 losses. Just as well I brought in um, some aircraft because, damn, that allowed us to get a lot of kills there. Uh, we did lose three ME109s ourselves. That's not too bad. I'm not too sad about that. Like, it was annoying when they were getting shot down, but overall, we did pretty well. Yeah, look at that, we chunked their aircraft. Big time. Beautiful air engagement. So they are going to be in position. They might get attacked again, though, which would be unfortunate. <laughs> Still not dug in. They're very weak. Kind of hoping they don't really attack us anymore. That would be the most ideal. They did put up AA, and then they took it down again. And my unit's getting sort of deployed on that right hand side, like actually getting dug in is really helpful. I know we're being attacked in the middle. I'm not even sure what by. Ah, oh, there we go. So, potentially quite a few things. Third Recon Squadron, it's not very strong at the moment. Um, then some beaten up uh, Motorized Rifle Brigade there, and then the 15th Guards and the 234th Guards. Two Star Infantry across the board. They could also bring in the 65th Tank Brigade. So there's that as well. Don't know what I want to bring. We don't have to worry about any enemy aircraft because we have our own AA set up. So I'm kind of tempted to just bring in uh, these lot and leave it at that, really. Just go 40 points in. They will have more than us at the start, but I think we'll be okay. Like If they bring in their tanks, then I can just ambush them with Panzerstrecks. So I might set this up so that my small AT guns snipe their transports and then we have our big AT guns in more ambushing positions. I do kind of want another unit just in case. So we'll bring in the 4th SS Panzer Coil HQ just to give us a few more points in phase B. And again, it, if we make it that far it doesn't really make a difference. Hmm. I think I'd go in as is. Could bring in some aircraft, but I don't think it's worth bringing in the bombers for this fight. Then again, this is the only place where they could bring in IL-2s. Or IS-2s, sorry. Let's bring in bombers. <laughs> yeah, they got some IS-2s sitting on the front there, so they could bring those in phase B. That would be bad. A tactical battle and we'll jump on in. All right, they only decided to come in with one unit at the end and I think it was the weakened one. If it's the motorized rifle brigade then this is over in two seconds. Yeah it is. Okay um, I'm just gonna line up and run at them because there is nothing they can do. I don't even really need my defenses down. I'll put them down just in case but
Just gonna push these up to the edge. And yeah, we'll bring in the fortifications just in case. I'll have an MG in the middle. MG for the left side. Um, we'll have an MG here. MG here. 37 here. Uh, pack 37 here. Middle, one on this side. We also need the pack 50. I mean, these will snipe at the start, which would be quite nice. We'll get quite a lot of snipes out of this. Uh, I guess I can do a 75 on this side. Okay. We've also got all of the airsats to open. These don't even come with transport, so these are perfect for this. Okay. Uh, get some Panzer Guns in here. Okay, and we're off. That'll do. So, just going to go for the spawns. That's the plan. Could bring in my Grillas, actually. Um, we'll bring in the HE-111 Recon as well. See what's going on. Might not want to bring in any transports to the front. Those AT guns could be annoying. Just a classic counter attack. Are oh, these Thraki getting melted? So many Panzergrams. All pushing forwards. Get rid of those. Lovely. Do have the bombers, of course. Take out those units of Strauki. I'm not sure if we really hit them very well. But we'll see. On the unit down. These guys are getting surrounded anyway. Land spawn on the right's gone. Land spawn in the middle's gone. Left gone as well. Just need to get on top of this one. That's it. That's victory. <laughs> nice and simple. Cool. Four minutes, 50 seconds. Don't even need to worry about that. Just a bit annoying that it kind of wasted my reinforcements, especially my bombers. Classic AI. Fainting their attacks. <laughs> I just wiped out that unit. Right now we're being attacked on the left side. Uh, this is just the 6th Guards Motorized Battalion coming in for the 2nd Battalion of the Infantry Regiment 170. Okay. Well, nothing I can do to reinforce. So straight up one on one. 1v1. Uh, we should be fine here. Uh, we have way more troops than they do. And we have a breakthrough defense at the start, so I'm happy with that. Uh, let's just deploy this out of the transport. I'll have an IG there as well. Uh, we'll do IG on the left. And pack 40. Yeah. I guess. 
I could put it in the back garden. That's probably the best place to put it. Do an MG there with a couple of grenadiers and a grenfuller. Um, hmm. So I could do like a few grenadiers and a grenfuller here. Grenadiers and a grenfuller here. And maybe a couple of grenadiers just in case on the left. Then we need stuff in the middle. MD42 and Grenadier. That'll do. Launch the battle. There was like motorcycles. I think there'll probably be a few vehicles with armor as well that we're going to have to take care of, but shouldn't be too hard. Ideally, I want to get these like all the way into the heavy cover on this left side. We'll do that. Right, those are the motorcycles, I guess. Yep. Shame my AT gun doesn't feel like hitting. Got some grenadiers in here with the pioneer squad. I missed every shot. <laughs> That's quite impressive. Not gonna lie. Where's this grenadier going? Abandoning his post. How oh, dare he. I'll oh, keep things sped up. Eventually the close range infantry will get on top of us, but... Um, well, probably won't because we'll keep them at distance, but we'll eventually show up at least. Might be worth having like an half platter on the right hand side there. It's the only recon unit we've got. Recon's quite useful in um, single player because it allows you to spot units in the open. And the AI does love, just love to run forwards randomly with units. It helps you spot them quite easily. Mm, those? Resvitka doing quite a lot of damage. Gonna retreat with my MG42 a little bit. Bring in some more grenadiers to the middle, I think. They're sort of dead. We are, of course, up against a recon unit, so there is that. I feel like we're gonna have to run away. This is bad, I might lose these units. <laughs> this Resvitica squad's pretty fast, or pretty uh, good with their SVTs. I let them get too close for comfort there. That was a bit of a mistake. That was me saying I'm going to definitely keep her at range. These Rosetka, they're kind of like blending in. Nice camo. We got MG42, so it doesn't even matter. Mow them down. Right. You think sped up for the middle? Three minutes until we win, anyway. We just killed them. Yeah, they just disappeared. I would like to push forwards, but I don't want to lose anything else unnecessarily. I think I'm just going to wait. Let's 
This is like the weirdest attack from the AI. It's like very, very rare that they attack without the potential for reinforcements. Most of the time, it's like they attack you and they have at least more than one option to bring in in phase A, but then they just choose not to. And then they try and avoid, I, I don't know, it seems like they never tend to do these sorts of attacks where they don't have potential for reinforcements. But, oh well, doesn't really matter. Another total victory. Yeah, we did lose the MG there and the Grenadier. That sucks. It's okay, though. That destroyed their recon unit. Perfect. Right. One of their tank units moved across there. They set up some AA on the right-hand side that I might want to take out. Although they just got rid of that again. Yeah, these tanks are certainly building up, that's for sure. Just trying to pay attention to uh, where they are moving their units. Kind of difficult to see. I should probably set it to this. That makes it a lot easier to identify. Just using Alt to uh, see where we're being attacked. Okay, some fighters coming in. They managed to take out one of my AA pieces, only lost one of their aircraft. I guess they were going for interception. The AA setting up right near my dudes. <laughs> That's not good for them. Not good for them at all. They did move like units from the left to the right here, which might protect against this push. I'm not too happy about that. This attack is happening again though. Okay. Well, I guess we just jump in and um, yeah, I might bring these guys to defend as well. I might as well. Uh, they're right next door. I don't think they lose their dug-in status because it's a defensive battle. I'll bring these in phase B. That's tactical battle. Jump on in. Again, it's only one unit attacking us. We're going to have 60 points at the start, so I'm very tempted to just run them down. Yeah, they are going to be a lot stronger because they have like all two star units, but it'll be okay. Uh, if I, again, get the AT guns in position, I get the bunkers down. We can just transport snipe a bunch of them. And then, yeah, let's get the IGs up here again. Work quite well. And then we'll get our oh, panzer guns down. Actually, we need to do the MG bunkers as well. Put one in the middle. I'll put one on this side. I have also got these uh, 50 mil bunkers. Should put down all of them, really. Okay. All right. Panzergrens. Uh, do I want MGs? Probably don't need MGs. Do Panzergrens here. So these ones can go for this. These can... Actually, that's a good point. I probably don't need to put these here. I'll put them there. Those ones can go up that road. You can do... Um, these ones. I should move them forwards. We can go for this one. And then we need probably, I guess, grenadiers will do. All a load of grenadiers to go on the right hand side, and I can bring in a grenfeuder to follow those. Okay. I should probably bring in 
the pounds are going to feel with these as well, but yeah, I guess I could. Cool. Might have a couple of IGs move up and load on top of here at the start. Let's go. I'm bringing a commandant to the right hand side. That would be a good idea. And we could bring in our gorillas. Yeah, we could bring in the gorilla. I think the right hand side will be the easiest one to take, especially with the IG support behind us. I'm going to bring up some MGs to back us up in positions where I think we can probably get them to. We can probably get one here, for example. Get a couple up here. I'm going to move both these IGs to the right just because I saw infantry moving to the left. Agivaria is so dead. <laughs> Alright, let's bring up some infantry here. Get some grenadiers. Just gonna move this up onto the hill with the IGs. I'm going to start pushing these off the edge because otherwise artillery fire is just going to come in on us all the time. Kanaya Resort Gedge getting completely overrun, it's great. Going to get some grenadiers in here. Right, I don't know where these are going. No one should be following those. I don't think I clicked away. Okay, great. Taking care of those. And that sniper's gonna get taken out. Okay, these can all unload into there. These ones can all unload and just move up onto that flag. It doesn't really matter if we hold flags, to be honest. That one's captured. That's good. <laughs> My IG is just direct firing in the mortar back there. That's good. I'm going to only these early. We'll go take out that GV Comrati. Great. Um, sniper's probably going to kill off our IG. Not good. I'll just keep these back then. Spring in. 
some more infantry here. I'm gonna make sure I hold this. Can't really push through here because of the potential for close range infantry. Same deal here, really. Yeah, all these Avtos aren't going to be very handy. Okay. Cool. Uh, the Commandant may as well move forwards. Using one IG is not too bad. I'm a bit worried about this IG, though. I'm going to move it back across because there might be some infantry in here that kill it off at close range. That would be bad. We done it. I think that's victory, yeah. We captured all of the <laughs> reinforcement points. <laughs> oh dear. Why well, do a breakthrough defense where you sit back and snipe all the transports when you can just finish the game in five minutes? Five minutes, 33 seconds, 28 kills, one loss. IG taken out by the sniper is the only loss. Uh, otherwise, our Panzer Grenz just absolutely annihilated them. Perfect. And it's our turn. That was the last attack. And there we have it. Unfortunately, guys, it has been my time. But next time around, uh, we'll be on the offensive again. Pushing through the enemy lines. And hopefully inflicting lots more casualties. Most of my front on the right-hand side is now completely dug in. Which is good. We are a little bit overexposed here. I I'm not sure if I want to continue this push. I might push to the left, though. We might be able to just crush through this, and then that will open up the road for us to push down and then connect up with this push through here with Battle Group Maya and Kosman. We'll see. But that's it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.